Hello Spookwits and welcome back to my channel. So I have got a big update about the boy. Seriously, big update. I promised you guys I would update you as soon as I knew anything about the boy. If this is the first time you've seen this face, first time you've ever seen me on YouTube, the boy is somebody that has haunted me my whole life and he, it's not my house that's haunted, it's me. Also, I thought, so we thought the boy was my twin. Um, I was meant to be a twin and we thought that this boy could be my twin and that he follows me around. But guys, I have recently spoken to Amy from Shadowhunters UK TV. I'm going to link Amy in the description of this video. Seriously, she's genuine, she's lovely. Her videos are worth a watch. Go subscribe! Plus me and Amy are getting together very shortly to do a video together so keep an eye out on both our channels for that. Before I get into what I found, I will quickly update you with some of the things that have gone on in this house. Because I said I would update you with these things. Now, it wasn't worth doing a video just for these few things, so I thought I'd include it in this one. So first off, I was filming a video for my other YouTube channel, and my bedroom door swung open again. I caught it on camera. It's pretty cool when that happens when I catch it on camera so cool again we often hear footsteps and things like that um and then we were sat in here we was watching telly um I was very upset this day we've had a lot going on within our lives unfortunately uh, but this certain evening I was really really upset and something was thrown in our kitchen now the weird thing is that day I did feel the boy's presence a bit and Matt did look at me when something was thrown and he was like the boy yes the boy i felt his presence all afternoon i have a feeling that i did speak to amy about this as well um i feel that when my emotions are really high so whether it be really happy emotion or excited you know you really like buzzing aren't you but then of course when you're really sad it's also a strong emotion when you're really really sad and I think he feeds off those emotions because I have noticed him be more active when I'm really excited over something as well also while I, I'm while I was on the phone I spoke to Amy on the phone and this is where this bizarre story that I think we've cracked the code of the boy is that the right choice words started but yes yeah, so i was talking to amy and she was telling me her experiences i was telling her my experiences was talking all things paranormal then there was a noise from the kitchen now this happened between i want to say 11 and midnight amy if you know the exact time then let me know but i think it would be between 11 and midnight nevertheless the kids were in bed amy can vouch for that because they come in and said good night whilst I was on the phone to her and then Matt went up to bed at 10 because he has to be up around half four in the morning. But yeah, we were talking about all things paranormal and there was a noise coming from the kitchen. So I went to go investigate, Amy came with me, obviously on my phone. And um, <clears throat> you know the, you can make your own ice lollies. You buy like a, it's normally a, a row of four and then you get the plastic candles. Well, the plastic candles were all near the draining board in the kitchen uh, near the sink. Uh, when I went in one of them wasn't now it wasn't on the floor because I could have said maybe it was teetering on the edge of the worktop and fell on the floor and obviously it could have slid a bit because plastic on laminate it could have slid but no it wasn't it was on the worktop on the other side of the kitchen so I can't I can't explain that if you can then um let me know but it's quite a big gap from one worktop to the other and they don't jump on their own do you know what I mean so yeah, that was a bit weird. So yeah, that happened. But me and Amy uh, got talking. Um, Amy told me about this channel she watches. I still need to watch it and I can't remember what they're called. Um, they're, they've become friends of hers as well. Amy said they're really, really lovely. But they dig and they find old things when they're digging, which is really cool. That stuff really interests me. I do need to watch their channel because I love anything like that. I love history and old things. Me and Amy were saying... You know, you could be holding something really old and you think, you know, people have probably passed this down and people from a long time ago have held this. Things like that. I love anything like that. But then talking about this and these lovely people that Amy were talking about and what they do, it reminded me of when I was a little girl in my mum and dad's back garden. Um, Looking back now, it was a weird situation, but as a child, I didn't think it was weird, and I've never really thought about the day that I found the doll since, up until this conversation with Amy. So I 
was I don't know what I was originally doing in the garden but I ended up digging in a spot it was a, a flower bed there was no flowers in it though at that moment um, and I was digging down I remember this I was definitely under the age of 10 when this happened I was digging down and just below the surface was this little guy now you can see it's got holes where joints use uh, joints used to go into for arms and legs have a pause have a good look if you want to on what i love look he's got a cute little bum so yeah i found this doll just below the surface of the dirt now at the time as a child i didn't really think anything of it but looking back now like i said it was a flower bed there was no flowers in there at that moment in time but surely my mum would have found this i know things rise to the surface but not that quick if that makes sense <laughs> not that quick um mum had just took flowers out of there and i mean yeah i suppose it could be a case of she just didn't dig in that specific area but it was only a small area that i found this in and it was right next to the shed that used to be there now i am so tempted to ask mum and dad if i can dig where <laughs> and see if we can find the other pieces to this thing but I didn't think at the time but I found it I washed it and it went into my jewelry box and it has stayed there ever since um but me and Amy were talking and <laughs> it made me realize hang on a minute I was under the age of 10 definitely when I found this doll right I was also somewhere between the age of six and eight when I saw the boy for the first time and only time. I haven't seen him since, but obviously I, I do sense him around me. Not all the time, but he is with me. Um, he just shows up when he wants to. But yeah, I was between six and eight when I saw him um, and started feeling him around. And I was under 10 when I found this. Of, Do you get where I'm going with this? Is it not me that's haunted? Is it the doll? And this boy has been in every place I've lived in. Well, this is in my jewellery box. My jewellery box goes everywhere I've lived in. So is the boy attached to this and not me? Have me and Amy cracked it? <coughs> Thank you. I was absolutely mind blown. And it makes so much sense because when I saw the boy... He had brown trousers on and this green wool cardigan and he had blonde hair not that that's relevant at the moment with what I'm trying to tell you but it was really like not this era what he was dressed in but obviously we thought he was my twin because he's always with me so it would make sense right but I think this makes more sense there's is this a haunted doll Amy sent a picture to her friends that dig of the doll and they think that it's Victorian 1920s. Um, but it's a cool little find and I've had this thing obviously years. Well, not, I'm not that old. You know what I mean. Yeah, have we cracked it? Have me and Amy cracked this? Uh, you know, this boy's been with me so long and <clears throat> the weird thing is that I've always thought that he's he was my twin. But it could turn out that he's not my twin. Um, and it's just weird to think that what I've been thinking all these years is not what he is. Um, he's attached to the doll. So I've always wanted a haunted doll. I know that sounds really weird. But have I had one this whole time? A little haunted doll? I'm showing you again because I'm obsessed and he's just... Amy was saying as well, because I keep referring to... Oh, don't break it! I keep referring to the doll as a he because Amy does as well. And to be quite honest, I do get male vibes. I think it's the six... Is that a six pack? And it looks like he's got like a medallion on his chest. It's just so strange. So, so strange. It's even got little ears look it's just i honestly when i have this in my hand i can't stop let me look at his face is quite creepy hang on stop focusing on my face his face is quite creepy anyway that's enough of the doubt so yeah i wanted to tell you this guys because it's a it's a big update to be fair um in my eyes and 
I had to let you know what me and Amy have been talking about because we're finding this insane. I'm finding this insane. So am I going to, in the future, be doing little investigations with the doll? You bet, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go now, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I just really wanted to update you with this because it's just amazing. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps me more than you know. Hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you all in my next video. But until then, sleep tight. <laughs>